Some practices, such as massage and topical products, including rosemary oil, may be beneficial for hair health and growth. Depending on the cause of hair loss, it may affect its ability to regrow. Alopecia areata is an autoimmune disease that involves the immune system attacking the cells in your hair follicles, which lead to hair loss. The word alopecia means baldness in Latin, areata means in patches. So, this perfectly explains the disease that results in small patches of baldness across the scalp and other parts of the face and body. The amount of hair loss experienced by people with alopecia areata varies. Some lose small round patches of hair about the size of a quarter, which is most common. Others experience extensive or even total hair loss. Many reasons can explain alopecia areata or hair loss. It can be due to genetic source, hormone imbalances, fungal conditions of the scalp, stress, autoimmune diseases, and nutritional deficiencies. Treating hair loss or hair thinning can be challenging, and not all treatments may work for you. However, there are many natural ways you can use to regrow your hair. Stay tuned on the video until the end to discover different ways you can use to regrow your hair naturally. Number 1. Aloe Vera People have been using aloe vera to treat hair loss for a long time. Aloe vera soothes the scalp and conditions hair. It can reduce dandruff and unblock hair follicles that may be blocked by excess oil. It is advisable to apply pure aloe vera gel to your scalp and hair a few times per week. You can use shampoo as well and conditioner that contain aloe vera. Number 2. Coconut Oil Coconut oil contains fatty acids called lauric acid. This one penetrates inside the hair shaft and reduces protein loss from hair. You can use coconut oil before or after washing your hair, depending on your hair type. If your hair tends to be oily, you can do a leave-in treatment overnight or a few hours before you wash it. You might want to massage coconut oil into your scalp and all of your hair. If your hair is dry, you can use it as a leave-in treatment. Coconut oil is found to be beneficial for the lubrication of the hair shaft and the prevention of breakage. According to a 2021 study, when people apply coconut oil to the scalp, it can help enrich the scalp's microbiome, which in turn makes the scalp and hair follicles healthier. Number 3. Massage When people are massaging the scalp combined with hair oils and masks, this can stimulate the scalp and may improve hair thickness. They believe that stretching during the massage encourages hair growth and thickness in the dermal papilla cells, which are located in the bottom of the hair follicle. These cells play a key role in the formation of the hair, hair growth, and the shedding and regrowth cycle. A 2019 study showed that scalp massaging improved hair growth, blood flow, and scalp health in people. Taking time to massage your scalp each day can also help you relieve stress and tension. You can also add a few drops of rosemary oil into your shampoo and conditioner daily. However, avoid using essential oils directly to your skin and always mix them in a carrier oil or shampoo. Number 4. Geranium Oil Geranium is also known as Pelagornium gravelliens, which is a fragrant plant native to South Africa. Geranium oil is a concentrated essential oil that is extracted from its leaves. It can be used to promote hair growth and boost circulation. Geranium oil can help strengthen, hydrate, and restore your hair. You can mix 3 drops of geranium essential oil with 8 drops of a carrier oil and apply it directly to your hair. You can also add a few drops to your shampoo and conditioner. Number 5. Viviscal Viviscal is known as a natural hair growth supplement that promotes hair growth in people with thinning hair. It contains a marine complex known as Aminomar C, which is a mineral-rich combination of shark and mollusk powder, organic silica, and vitamin C. These ingredients can help regenerate new cells and strengthen existing cells. Number 6. Fish Oil Fish oil contains omega fatty acids that can help improve your hair from the inside since they are filled with nutrients and proteins. Taking an omega supplement along with antioxidants, help improve hair density and diameter. It also reduces hair loss. Omega fatty acids help your cells work correctly and can boost immunity, leading to better overall health. Number 7. Lemon 
fresh lemon juice or lemon oil are known to be effective to enhance hair quality and growth. Lemon oil may help you maintain a healthy scalp and encourage hair growth. You can apply fresh lemon juice to your scalp and hair 15 minutes before you shampoo. You can also use lemon oil diluted in a carrier oil as part of a hair mask. Number 8. Ginseng Ginseng is one of the supplements that can promote hair growth by stimulating hair follicles. Ginsenocytes are the active components of ginseng which are responsible to make a positive effect on hair. We should notice that the research on the impact of ginseng to hair loss is limited, but there are some ongoing studies about this question. Number 9. Rosemary Oil Rosemary is generally used to name a woman, but there, its utilization refers to a common essential oil that people use to promote hair growth and reduce hair loss. Rosemary oil has been found to stimulate new hair growth and can even be used to treat androgenetic alopecia. You can mix a few drops of rosemary oil into your carrier oil, like argan oil or jojoba oil, and massage it into your hair and scalp before rinsing. You can do this a few times per week. Number 10. Onion Juice Even though it can be tough to handle the smell of onion juice, it is worth giving it a try because onion juice has been shown to be effective in promoting hair growth and treating patchy alopecia areata effectively. Onion juice can be effective in improving circulation. A 2015 study under animals showed improved keratinocyte growth factor, which is an important mediator of hair follicle development and growth. If you want to improve your hair, come up with a plan and stay consistent. Remember that treatments may take a few months before seeing effective results. It would be better to take time each day to focus on nourishing your hair. Practicing self-care may be a good way to go if your hair loss is related to any emotional or stress-related issues. It is important to do your best to maintain a healthy lifestyle that can be useful in your hair treatment journey. If you're currently under a physician's care for hair loss and you want to combine natural methods with your medical treatment, it is advisable to talk with your care provider to make sure there are no concerns or possible contraindications with your natural methods. It's advisable as well to talk with your care provider about medications or procedures to treat your hair loss if these natural methods don't work for you. Meanwhile, it can be a good idea to determine the cause of your hair loss, which may help you to use an adaptive treatment to regrow your hair. If you would like to know about the causes related to hair loss, watch this video on the right side. I hope you got value from this video. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel so you never miss out on any new videos uploaded. Remember, your health is your priority. I'll see you in the next informative episode.